Season 39 is over. It's done. Four Loki finished sixth overall, third in Masters, which we're really excited about. Um, congrats to GT40, JA, and TCN on their finishes. We actually faced TCN and GT40 this season. And I bring it up because a lot was made of Four Loki's schedule in terms of who we were facing. We faced two of the top three. Number four was SGA. We faced, we beat them. Um, if we look at the back half of the Masters bracket, there's Chaos, LOXC, Revod. We faced all three of those guys, beat all three of them. MIBR, we lost to. They were in Masters until they got docked. Next was in Masters until they got docked. I mean, we lost to LVT, who finished in Plat 1 at the very top. Um, I mean, our schedule is not determined by us. We faced who we faced. And our, the competition that we faced this season ended up all having good seasons, and we beat a lot of them. And so, you know, overall, we're pretty happy with how we did. I mean, we didn't face the DSVG, the D69, the JA, the Noon, those famous war alliances. But we can't pick it. And overall, we had a really good season, in my opinion. Our average death per war was the second lowest it's been in four Loki history, and that's recorded you know, 25 seasons. And so that's a good season. And, and we're really happy with how we performed. We're really happy um, with how the season went. And we're not embarrassed by any of the criticisms that we always get because we always get criticisms from the community. We could face TCN, GT40, and JA at, you know, every week on repeat for four weeks straight, go 12-0, and 0, and there would still be a segment of the community that just is hating on us. It's just the nature of being in 4 Loki. And I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining how it's going to be. So I picked these Nexus selectors not because I need any champions, but because I had previously... Um, picked a rainbow during uh, the Karina's challenges. I just picked one of each because uh, why not? And I had opened up a mutant on stream um, for Dr. Stone. I opened up a mystic because I needed some ISO, so I just refilled those. In terms of the tier five class catalyst, I just went with the lowest that I had, sort of keeping my resources as even as possible. It's a lesson that uh, Brian Grant has taught me over the years. So I'm picking mostly science here because that's the lowest one that I have. In terms of actually opening stuff, I don't really have any crystals to open. I'm going to save the nexuses um, until I need them potentially. But the champs that I'm missing in my six-star roster are all going to be in the next featured opening. And I'm going to have a huge featured opening to try and get those champs that I'm missing. So that'll be out in about a week's time. So stay tuned for that, I guess. But I will open up the Tier 5 class catalyst. Um, for finishing in Masters, you get two, six, well, excuse me, Tier 6 class class. You get two random 5 percenters, which is absolutely absurd. I mean, that's just silly rewards. And Kabama said that they're going to be buffing the rewards. I'm curious to see if they're going to be buffing the amount of tier six class catalyst that's given out because right now you could do, you would take you years and years of the current awards to be able to formulate a rank five champion. And that's just seems pretty ridiculous. So, if, I mean, if we look at what we have, um, I already have one mystic tier six class catalyst. I need three um, in order to take a champ to rank five. I have... Uh, one tech fully formed, um, but again, you need three. And I don't, those are the only two classes in which I have one tier six class catalyst. I don't even have any shards of skill. So I'm a long, long ways away from a second rank five on this account. But that's okay. <laughs> I do, will be alone for a while. But Let's turn it over to the second account. This is the Mommy Short Arms account, which is in SSX, or I guess I should say was in SSX. SSX finished 11th in Masters at the, um, and so I got these three rewards. And, you know, it's a little bittersweet because I am going to be retiring this count from SSX. This was it for me. I had to say goodbye to those folks. Um, keeping up two high level accounts is just not really feasible for me at this juncture. I don't really have the time or the inclination to do it. 
Um, I haven't touched Karina's yet on this. I haven't done 8.1 on this. I haven't even finished Abyss on this account. So there's a there's just a lot of content that I haven't been able to complete. You know, I, I can't do Battlegrounds on both accounts, which is necessary to get the relics for Prestige. So it was just obvious to me that I was going to be fa falling farther and farther behind. And even though, you know, the folks in SSX are lovely and they're lovely to me, it, eventually it was just not going to be really feasible, I think, for either one of us. And so better to leave a year too soon than a year too late. And so I told them that I was done. And um, I don't know, maybe it'll make an appearance again in top tier wharfs if, if I have an inclination or alternatively if someone needs sort of like an emergency fill-in for something like that. But um, this is this is probably it for mommy, you know. Uh, it was really cool that I got to get Carl from the early access deals and play with him a lot this season. DLL designed an awesome champ and I'm really enjoying him. I'm glad I got him on the, my main account to sort of futz around. But in terms of the class crystals, I picked Tech. I picked Tech because I'm missing Omega Sentinel, a champ I really like, and also Ultron on this account. I thought it'd be pretty funny if I pulled an Ultron on this account after complaining about Ultron all season. And of course... Um, Kabam instead throws me uh, a reminder of why the tech class sucks so bad with uh, these two lineups. I took the dupe on Iron Man and then Sigs on Silver Centurion. Um, Sentinel used to be really good back in the day, but now he's just sort of really underpowered. He could use a little bit of a buff. Silver Centurion is good. He's very, very niche, though. So that's it for the Mommy Short Arms account. It was a blast while I played it. I love the guys in SSX. All of them. Rob, the leader, is a, is a, just a dude. I love him. I miss him. As for the rest of you folks, that's it for me for the season. I'll see you in the next life, Jack.